Uh, you consider this short? You consider this short? Uh, I don't consider it. I don't think it's short. You know, working. As long as you're working, I don't consider it short. Can't hear me, huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go next. You have a whole schedule to protect you from soft tissue injuries. Coach saying ahead of time. Yeah. You guys, you know, in stance. Yeah, so this game is built on like, you know, it's about working hard, but, uh, you know, also you got to protect our bodies, and, you know, so of course, you know, soft tissue issues come with a lot of running. So, you know, our coaches do it, and our staff do a great job. The strength coaches, Ted Durham, his team, they do a great job of taking care of our bodies. I think we was the most less injured team last year, you know, and uh, they make sure they're trying to keep that going, and, you know, and that's why we kind of uh, played good at the end of the year, because a lot of guys like us was healthy, and, uh, you know, our best players was healthy. And uh, so uh, that's what we need. We need to be healthy to win games. So you can't win games if you ain't healthy. How important are the reps you're going to get at those joint practices because of how many walkthroughs you have early in training camp? How many important? Uh, I mean, all, every the walkthrough more important than the joint practices, honestly. You know, because that's the most time I get to really focus in and lock in on stuff. I can actually ask you questions during the play. Uh, you know, we could repeat it if we need it. You know, because in the game, actual live practice, you can't repeat plays. I treat it like a game. So in walkthroughs, that's what we've got it for. So. Uh, you know, I, uh, I take walkthroughs way, way serious. And then, you know, then uh, a normal dude probably. I know I do. Slay, when you look at all of the talent, the different combinations they can go with on the defensive fronts, uh, how much is that going to help you in the back end? Uh, a lot, you know, uh, help us as a group. You know, uh, you know, them guys out there hunt, you know, so, uh, you know, they wanted the strength of the team, but you know we also a strength of the team. The whole team is a strength. We just uh, we just gotta gotta play together, get used to each other, and uh, we make plays together. A lot of talk about Marcus Evans. Uh, yeah. What makes you think he can take that that leap, that, that next step in his progression? Uh, man, he works hard, man. Uh, God has just you know built on it. He like you know it's in his mind and his heart that he want to be one of the best in the game, and uh, he works hard. I drive him. We all drive him as a team. Uh, he been around some great leaders, you know. Rodney was here with him. Malcolm was here with him. So he learned a lot of ball and sitting behind them guys. So uh, he prepared for it, man. I'm, I'm ready for him. You know, uh, you know, we're not, you know, we just go kick T to keep working, building together, and uh, you know, sky's the limit for each and every one of us. I'm Baby Usher slash Chris Brown with the dance moves. Okay, gotcha. Didn't you dance with the Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> a little something, a little bit, a little bit. What, what does that say? Day one. It's Oh, that's all, I'm gonna have. I don't, I don't know if you know, but I'm always having fun. So, uh, but uh, of course, it's definitely my group. You know, uh, I built, I built, uh, our group built off character, man, and and we play loose. You know, so you gotta have fun out here, man. You know, if you take this game too serious, the game will get old too fast. So uh, that's why I've been playing 10 years, man, because I love it. I love coming to work. I love joining the guys, hanging around. If everybody too serious at work, I get bored, and then I will just go home. <laughs> Oh, uh, great, man. He, uh, we've been working together this whole all season together, man. So uh, I got a lot of hope, uh, hope for him, man. Um, you know, he's just grinding, working hard. Uh, I'm trying to teach him everything I know because one, at one point of these days, man, I hope he's taking my position, you know, because uh, that's the goal for me as a, as a veteran guy. I want a younger guy to be the next me or whatever, even better. So uh, my goal is to keep to you to keep working him and I'm uh, getting rid of him for uh, his time. Can you tell how far advanced he is from this time last year? Oh, uh, yeah, man. He, uh, like you're saying, he was advancing when he coming in. He was a smart kid, and he and one thing about Zach, like he, he's not scared to ask questions. He's, he listens, and that's one thing I was when I was young. I listened, and I listened to my vets, and I asked questions, and that's what he's doing. So, man, he's starting on the right path for sure, man. Um, like I said, the sky's the limit for him. I can't wait to see him, you know, that's cute. a specific piece of advice that was passed along to you when you were a rookie from, from veterans that you yeah. sort of passed along? Yeah, so be a sponge, be a sponge, and uh, – and, and have a great surrounding, you know. So my, uh, I had a lot of things to choose from what kind of player I wanted to be. But I seen the guys that I looked up to uh, do it this way, and I did it how they did it. And uh, you know, they were successful players. And uh, you know, I'm now I'm year ten, so uh, I know I learned a lot. And with, from, uh, I think I won't be in year ten without guys like Rasheem Mathis, Glover Quinn, Chris Houston, Lewis Delmas, guys that played a long time in this league. And uh, I think I will not be year ten without them guys because uh, they showed me how to take care of my body and be a professional. Oh, man, big physical guy can catch the ball and run. You know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see when he put the pads on because he, you could tell right now for sure he's not a t-shirt guy. He's a pads guy, so he want to run through contact. And uh, like I got, like, like I said, man, we go, uh, 
we just ready for him. You know, we playing, you know, compete. My job here is to definitely get him the best, to be the best receiver in this game. That's what I want to do, him and Devontae and the whole receiver core. I want them to be the best unit in the NFL. So uh, my job is here to just to help them keep growing and uh, keep trying to get them boys better as they can. What about Devontae? You know, how mm. far along is he compared to this time last year, you know, the first day of camp? Oh, great, man. Smitty always been a good, you know. he One guy, one thing I knew about him, he was about his business and uh, he works hard. So uh, we will continue to keep working. Like that day he got me on a good double move today, but they didn't throw it. Thank God. Uh, but yeah, so uh, he's, you know, he's going to be Smitty. Smitty's an awesome guy, man. Talented, smart, hard worker, man. That's what really separates himself from a lot of people that he really takes the job serious and work hard. Is there anything that stands out like that he's made a real leap in from year one to year two? Uh, I mean, not that fast, not, not to see it like through here, but uh, doing OTAs, you know, he just, you know, making catches more, you know, making it look more easier than what they did last year, you know. And I'm seeing him be more aggressive in the, in the contact of catching the ball. So, you know, uh, he catching him high, high pointing the ball, attacking the ball, jumping, catching, you know, using hands. And he always been a great, I don't know how y'all think, but he always been a good that dude that could break tackles. I've been seeing him breaking tackles for a long time. So, but uh, he's, he's doing what he needs to be doing to be the, a guy.